I am Maria Garcia de Flori. Why do we speak of the heart of Jesus? Well, because in all languages at all times, the heart is considered the natural symbol of love and affection. The direct and material object of devotion to the Sacred Heart is the real and physical heart of Jesus, the heart of flesh, the living and loving heart of our Blessed Lord, the heart that beat is in His divine bosom at the moment of incarnation, the heart that loved us during Jesus' life on earth, that shed his blood to the last drop on Mount Calvary, the beatified heart now glorious in heaven and still dwelling among us in the Blessed Sacrament, the heart always united to the person to the Divine Word, to whom supreme homage and adoration is due. In our era of religious indifference, when fervor and charity have grown cold, Jesus exhibits his sacred heart to the world as the symbol of God's infinite love, the symbol of his own generous and self-sacrificing love for men. Jesus shows his divine heart as a furnace whose burning rays of love are capable of reviving faith and rekindling love in cold and ungrateful hearts. The Church, governed and taught by the Holy Spirit, has approved and recommends the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Devotion to His Sacred Heart is devotion to Jesus Christ Himself, but in a particular way, meditating on His interior life and on His triple love, divine love, burning love, and sensitive love. His divine love because He is God. His burning love that feeds His human will, that enriches the human will of Christ, illuminates and governs his acts by knowledge, and his sensitive love because it affects his inner life in the body of Jesus Christ, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, and possesses full faculties of feeling and perception, in fact, more than any other human body. General devotion to the Sacred Heart, the birthplace of the Church and source of love, was popular in the Benedictine and Cistercian monasteries, especially in response to the devotion of St. Gertrude the Great in 1256. But specific devotions were still made more when St. Margaret Maria Alacoque in 1647, a nun of the Congregation of the Visitation, who had a personal revelation that invoked a series of visions of Christ while praying before the Blessed Sacrament became popular. She wrote, He revealed to me the wonders of his love and the inexplicable secrets of the Sacred Heart. Christ emphasized his love and his wound caused by man's indifference to his love. Let us consecrate ourselves to the Sacred Heart recognizing him as creator and redeemer and having full rights over us as king of kings, repenting and resolving to serve him in order to help repair the indifference and ingratitude with which he is treated and for having left him abandoned by humanity because we are aware that with God we always win.